Hello everyone! Do you know that before the invention of calculus, mathematics was studied? If that is the case, how to deal with the issues that are not constants? Remember, the universe is constantly moving. Stars, planets, and galaxies are constantly changing. This branch of mathematics is the language spoken by engineers, physicists, quantity surveyors, inventors, space explorers, and economists. Today, let us explore how it is used in business and economics. Let's try this. Suppose the marginal cost for making a certain product is c prime of x equals 3x minus square root of x, and the fixed cost is 2,000. Find the cost function. First. Let's define a marginal cost. If c is the cost and x is the quantity, then c of x is the cost function. mc is the marginal cost, delta c is the change in cost, and delta x is the change in quantity. Then, the formula for marginal cost is mc equals delta c over delta x equals c prime of x, or the first derivative, the cost function. In the given scenario, the marginal cost is defined as c prime of x equals 4x minus square root of x. Find c of x. To solve c of x, integrate c prime of x. Write c of x this way. And apply the integral of the sum or difference of two or more functions. So, c of x becomes the integral of 4x dx minus the integral of square root of x dx. To integrate it, recall the integral of the product of a constant and a function, and also the power formula. Thus, the integral of 4x dx is equal to 4x squared over 2 plus c sub 1, or n, the integral of square root of x dx is equal to x raised to 3 halves over 3 halves plus c sub 2, or so c of x equals 2x squared minus 2 thirds x raised to 3 halves plus c. The fixed cost represents the cost when production is zero, thus 2000 equals c. Hence, the complete cost function is c of x equals 2x squared minus 2 thirds x raised to 3 halves plus 2000. The cost function predicts the cost. Let's find out the cost when 100 units are produced. Plug in 100 units to x in c sub s, and it yields 21,333.33 pesos. Take a look at the graph. When x equals 100, it intersects with the cost function at 21,333.33 pesos. Would you like to produce more units? It's up to you.